Hey guys, Blender Beetle here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial because I got this comment from Behemoth. Uh, tell me with the line, tell me please how you load a sequence of images from created to open tunes. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to do that. I may come out with a more in-depth tutorial later on, but today I'm just going to show you the quick way without any kind of bells and whistles how to get it from Krita to open tunes. You may notice I don't have my uh, webcam working today. I actually am in the process of transitioning between desks. So even though I have my lovely webcam, it would basically fall off because I am not at my desk. So I have here, I have my animation that I did for today's daily. And it's just a quick 35 frame animation. First thing to notice is that start is at 1. If your start is at 0, then you will come out with a frame, one moment please, and let's go to one of my earlier ones because, yeah, you'll come out with this. You'll have a frame that says dot zero 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 zero. Krita numbers them perfectly except that that dot zero 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 zero, OpenTunes does not like it. It cannot read the frame number zero, so you want to start it at one. Now, make sure that your end is where you want it, because otherwise it starts out, I think by default, it starts at 100 frames long, which could, I have done on occasion, I exported it without paying attention to that, and you end up with a really long animation when you only really want a snippet of that. So what you're going to want to do is once you've got everything the way you want it, including timing here, you can, you can remove these empty frames and do your timing in open tunes, but I like to do it in Krita and then adjust timing in open tunes just a little bit. You're going to want to say export animation. And you'll get this. I'm going to go ahead and go to my pictures because I put the original Krita file in here. Right there. And I normally, the name of it really doesn't matter. I normally just go with T dot. Um, I change it if I'm going to have multiple animations in the same in the same folder because it's going to give you a sequence of images and that sequence will be read by OpenTunes as the sequence T. If you were to name this say anim dot then your level name is going to be anim. We're going to go back to T dot just to save my original format. Now what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick your format. You've got a bunch of different things. I go with JPEG because Krita, you have to format things correctly to get PNG to work and even then PNG is not easy to format in Krita. I haven't actually quite figured it out. JPEG, all the formatting works fine for me. I haven't had an issue. You can also do a TIFF. I don't know much about that one. So we're just going to do JPEG. Do not let leave it on all supported formats. If you leave it on all supported formats, you will get an error saying something like could not do it because we ran into an error and it's just going to not be happy with you. So we're going to go ahead and say save. And it's finished exporting the frames. So we're going to go to the folder that we were just in. You've got all these images now. Notice it goes T.0001 to T.0035. The fact that it's different separate images is fine. That's how OpenTunes is going to read them. You have a couple of different ways of importing it into OpenTunes. It's got to load. So OpenTunes opens with a squash screen. You can load level and when you load level you're going to want to go to uh, probably my computer it's kind of a, a pain in the butt to get to so if you can save this in a easy to get to location that would be better but once I go through a bunch get to the right folder you can go to 29 and you'll see that t.jpg is right here and this 35 means there are 35 frames in it you can go ahead and load and you'll notice that your animation is all ready to go. Another option, just go ahead and delete this here. You can come here and all you gotta do is drag one of the frames in 
and it'll drag in the whole thing. I made this mistake once. Do not copy them all because for every frame that you drag in, it will copy a, it will bring in a full set of each level. So we're just going to go ahead and undo all that nastiness. Um, another option is you can go to file, uh, load level, and you can do the same thing you did with go coming over here and clicking right click load level. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything that wasn't clear, put, post it down in the comments and I will try my best to clarify. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe.